in this video we will calculate uh, our direction towards the enemy so if we have the right angle we can right click and say we are within range to also take plus have the right angle but if we turn we will say i'm facing the wrong way so we will keep checking until we have the right angle okay guys so time to calculate the angles to see if we can auto attack so we want to be able to auto attack here but for instance but not here and we want to like measure the angles of the character so we have like a line here and here so we want to attack in this area to do this we will go into the combat player and we make a bool public bool can auto attack angle so now we have the range and the angle we need to set up and the next part will be we make a function and we will say okay um the function will be yeah, i can be avoid and auto attack ankle so we will start calculating the direction of the target so player control the selected enemy the transform and his position minus our position this and we will also say we need to see if we are looking forward and that's quite easy transform dot forward and in the end we will use these two variables to calculate the ankle so we say vector tree dot ankle is target direction on forward and then if the ankle is less than 60 then what then well oh if the ankle is higher than 60 then can attack ankle equals false else if it's less well then can attack ankle equals to true and we keep, need to keep updating this to see if it's right so in the void update if player control dot selected enemy is not equal to null so we have something uh, enemy selected we will see if the auto attack ankle is done so if we go in and look now we will see well we will see that on the player we have can auto attack ankle so if we select one we will see we have the right ankle currently but if we turn we do not have the ankle anymore and what we need now is when we right click we will see if all the variables and pools are correct so we can also attack finally so go back to the script and so we have one uh, if we have a target but not in range we will say not within range to also attack else if we have a target but are in range uh, and um, can we have the right ankle uh, plus ankle then we will make the animation fast attack and do some damage finally else if we do have a target and we are within range and we don't have the right angle then we have to print um, I'm facing the wrong way um, and we make a sound to tell that so back in the game test it out clear the console let's see so we selected an enemy if we go right click here 
you are not within range to also attack. Um, we go a bit closer. Uh, within range to also attack, press ankle. Okay, we turn. We are face. I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah, that should be it. 